Uh, neighbors in Charlotte around the airport have complained about noise from those planes for years. New tonight, reporter Brianna Harper learned airport officials are looking for a better way to monitor the issue and give people a clearer understanding of the problem. On a cloudy day like today, just miles from Charlotte Douglas Airport, you might not be able to see the airplanes in the sky, but you can certainly hear them. This is the sound neighbors in South Charlotte say has become their new normal. You just get used to it. But others don't entirely agree. We tracked noise complaints for just this year and found more than 27,000 noise complaints, but all those came from about 200 different households. Jeff Moreno has lived in the South Charlotte neighborhood for eight years, and he says he's never filed a complaint himself, but he knows plenty of people who have. I never complained. And I've, you know, I've lived here for a while, so I think you're just, you know, anywhere you live in the country, if you live by an airport, you're going to hear, hear airplanes. In recent years, the airport has changed its flights paths to help correct the noise. Unless they fly a different way or if they try to leave different routes or try to, you know, avoid going a certain way, somebody's going to hear it. And now most recently, the airport is also considering bids for companies to help track flights to give people more information about airplane noise issues. The airport director has said before the goal is to continue to work with the community on the noise issue. Charlotte's a great place and you know as more people move here you're going to hear more noise and I think people got to just realize that. And if you do happen to have a noise complaint, the airport provides you the option to submit a complaint either by phone or by email. Reporting in South Charlotte, Brianna Harper, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Brianna. And airport noise has cost the city of Charlotte in the past. The airport opened a new runway in 2010, and that created more overhead traffic and noise for neighbors. After six years of fighting in court, the city bought six homes in the area and paid 40 additional homeowners a total of $1.5 million for the negative impact on their property values.